the West portray India in such a negative way. It is the safest place we've been. We've felt, but it is really important to note that there have been people who... So if there, you do have any emergencies, you're not going to be helped. The Mumbai, Delhi, yeah. Agra, Jaipur, Kochi, yeah. Barkala. We, we, we travelled a fair bit. It isn't safe. For women. For women. Yeah. A lot of the hotel owners actually won't let you out of the hotel because yeah. it's that unsafe. There are dangerous places and we even got told yes. by women in India when we were travelling, don't go to this place, don't go to this place. Okay, some of you are going to be offended. Some of you are going to agree with us. I need you to put your opinions in the comment section so we can actually have a conversation about it. Other people that are looking to maybe travel as a family or as a couple or even as a single person and have read some of the stories we've read in our own country, heard stories, rumors, and it kind of made us a bit apprehensive about actually coming. So we want to tell you about our experience on the ground in India. In the UK, like I would imagine quite a lot of Western places, there's quite a lot of scary stories that you can hear about traveling to India, especially as a woman. It's really, really important that we share our experience of going to India. We also really don't want to invalidate anyone else's experiences there. I've put at the end of the video, some of the videos that women have put up, vloggers, of their experience that haven't been great and they've had really bad experiences and had to leave, etc. But we put them at the end. I want to actually start by saying India was amazing to us. Mm. The people, couldn't have been nicer. We had such a positive experience, okay? This is not gonna be a negative beat India up. This is just gonna be a conversation and just telling you about our experience. Like, subscribe, YouTube channel. Yay, thank you very much. I need to say that I felt completely safe the entire trip. I don't think there was a time when I did not feel safe. You might feel a bit overwhelmed. Mm. You might feel a bit like, oh. Yeah, you'll be in old Delhi. Yeah and there'll just be people, there'll be rickshaws, there'll be people shouting at you, yeah. touts, selling things, there'll be kids playing, there'll be mm. so much going on. It is sensory overload yeah. in India. Hands down, without a doubt, the most overwhelming place I've ever been. Yeah. But, we're talking about safety, and yeah. if, we, if we feared for danger or yeah. violence. Yeah. Did that happen? No. And we were there for five weeks. This is obviously a very small amount of time and we're on vacation in very busy, yeah. but touristy places. And we travel from big places and small places. And small places. But this is obviously a very small, we understand that we were there for five weeks. This is not us living there. Yeah. So you didn't feel s scared? I didn't feel scared, no. Obviously, we're a couple. We've got a little nigh as well. Mm. And it's important for us to stress that obviously I'm there. Yeah. It's going to be very different if you're on your own as a woman or you've just got two women. Your experience is going to be completely different. Yes. You had it a couple of times. Yeah. When you went out on your own. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, so I think being with Lawrence, nobody really has or does. You know, he's a big guy. People are a bit, I know you probably don't want to say this, but people are a bit, you know, people always are respectful when Lawrence is there. And... Especially as well, because a lot of people actually thought you were Indian when we were there. Yeah, and I think that's what people were a bit... So again, to a white couple, yeah. probably would have had different experiences because... Oh, well, my hair, my hair and beard. Sikh. Oh, I see. No, beard also Sikh. Oh, beard yeah. <laughs> Maybe Sikh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I mean, you in some of your Indian garments, you might as well have been Indian. You're tanned. I look, and I was told every day I was there that I look Sikh. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna second guess. They might not. They might think we're foreigners because of how we dress, yeah. and you know we're carrying backpacks and whatever. But they might think that I'm a British Sikh, or and they just that second where they hesitate and be like, I don't know mm. if he's a foreigner. Is he trying to work you out? We're in and out, and we're gone. Yeah. So we got hassled so much less yeah. than some of the people yeah. that we follow that went to India. Yeah. Um, and going on Lawrence's point, when I was by myself and with Nye, the only difference was, other than the normal thing that you get as a woman walking anywhere where you're like, oh, you should be a bit careful. 
there was no reason for me to think that. The only difference was people came up and asked for photos much more. That's the only thing. Mm. So you didn't feel like people were aggressive? They weren't or... aggressive. Everybody was, I, you, I could not fault how lovely everybody was when, when we were there. Mm. Yeah. Our experience was pretty amazing. Yeah. It's number one. We've been to a few countries yeah. before our vlogging experience and while we've been vlogging. And for me, this was number one, the safest I've ever felt. I felt comfortable. There wasn't one place that I felt in danger. But again, I'm a man. You were in a couple. I was attempting to speak the language. I was very... I understood that it was going to be a bit chaotic, so probably, I probably got there before they did. I was probably a bit more forward than even they were. So they were probably taken aback anyway. And again, it's down to your attitude and how you approach the situation. We were just happy to be there, smiling and happy and accepting the way we were walking and talking to people. We were big and bold. Yeah. Whereas. A lot of the tourists that we saw out right there were quite into themselves and a bit... They, you could tell they were scared. Yeah. I think. Intimidated. Yes. They were thinking someone's going to scam them, someone's yeah. going to do this, someone's going to do that and they're like walking around like not making eye contact with anybody. Yeah. I guess we should talk about how you should dress as a woman. Before going there, you've told right to be respectful, keep yourself covered up. If you're watching this and you're not from England, you can wear whatever you want. Your shoulders covered, chest covered, legs covered. And I was told that from British Indians. I did find it very hot, I'm not gonna lie. Tip number two by India Gate. Get yourself some Indian cotton garments. So yesterday we went and bought some because I spent the first two days absolutely sweating like anything. I was wearing big baggy t-shirts, like baggy um, trousers or leggings I wore on the first day. I can't explain to you how hot I was. I know I like to exaggerate sometimes, but I am 87.5% cooler in my Indian outfit. So in this reel I put out, I said, right, keep your shoulders, chest, legs covered. There's areas that are more relaxing. You can, you can wear a, a bigger variety of clothes. And that was pretty much it. And we got a lot of comments from younger Indians saying, please do not feed into the narrative that you have to be covered up to come here and you have to be covered up and you can't wear what you want. And I completely get that. I really want to hear people's opinions on this in the comments, if you can write in your comments. What do you think yeah. about that? Do you think that for us to say, right, you need to be covered up and blah, 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 it puts a bad image out to the rest of the world? Or is it respectful to not to cover your shoulders and your yeah. chest and your legs? Is it necessary? Is that maybe uh, a feeling that you had back, um, yeah. you know, before, and maybe it's not as valid now? Is it only applicable in certain areas? Is like, it an elders thing and the younger people actually don't think that? Which yeah. is what I feel. Or is it down to, because we know the different states in India yeah. differ massively, culturally, they just differ. Yeah. Which we found out when we went to India, which we weren't familiar with. So is it some states are more conservative, some states are more relaxed? Let us know in the comments section, because we actually want to know, we're coming back to India, and we want to know what the situation is on the ground. Yeah, so I made this reel mainly to be respectful and also just to tell other mm. foreign travellers what I felt comfortable wearing while I was there. And that is what I felt comfortable wearing. I don't think I would have felt comfortable having no. other areas out. I just wouldn't. And just touching on that as well, if you go to the beach, other than Goa and like the beach resorts like that, um, people don't really wear what we would consider beach attire. Yeah, I mean, everyone's in their, in their full sari in or um, jeans. Jeans. People wear T-shirts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so no it's a completely different bikini. culture to yeah. Ibiza. Yeah. You know, so don't be packing your, your, yeah. <laughs> your bikinis. Your thong beach. bikinis, <laughs> yeah. So of an evening, I'd go for a walk every now and again and go and sit in a restaurant and do some editing. And I was in environments where people were drinking and having fun and there was live music and all the rest of it. And 
it was all very, very sociable. The energy went up. Everyone was obviously, as you would imagine, a bit more merry, a bit more forward. It was a bit more rowdy, but it wasn't violent at all. There were other places that we've traveled that were a lot more hostile when it comes to sort of the early hours of the morning. And that's me as a man. I felt completely 100%, not, not 99%, 100% safe that I would walk home, walk there, get taxis, get cabs, no problem. And that, that's, those were the places that we went. So I can't speak about everywhere in India, but that's for me. What do you want? I didn't, <laughs> question. I didn't go out by myself in mm. the evening. However, how would you have felt if I was by myself? So for women travelers watching this, how would you feel the safety for women travelers? Well, it's difficult for me to say. I didn't see any signs of, there were women in there that were on their own, down in the south, Varkala, yeah. There were lots of single women and women that have been there for months and months that were out on their own. There were Indian women out on their own. So in the South, I, I didn't, I, there was just zero hostility and zero threat it, from my eyes, you know, in my experience. But other places, I didn't really see women on their own. Right. So I wouldn't know. And again, they're going to look at me and treat me and talk to me differently than they are women. And that's another point. Women and men communicating is very different to, in the West than yes. it is in, in some places in India. Yes. Some places are very relaxed, down in the South specifically. I found that people, the locals, would direct everything at Lawrence. Mm. So even if I asked the question... They'd answer to me. They'd answer to Lawrence. And they'd talk to Lawrence and you're sort of like you know, just in the background, which is completely different to how it is here. Mm. Um, another thing to note is, you know, in England, you might, you know, if you got friendly with somebody who was Indian and, you know, you've, you've met them as a couple and Lawrence might shake his hand or, you know, whatever, it, it wouldn't have been appropriate for me mm. to really touch him or give him a kiss on the cheek or... She does that quite often. <laughs> They're just not those kind of... It's just not in the culture. It's I feel like not, yeah, it's not just... in the culture for women and men But, but are... again, this is the experience it's we had experience. with specific people. If we were in South Delhi around Huskaz, it was just to say you run up, hug your friends, blah, 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 and everyone's touchy-feely. But it just seemed like they were a bit more uncomfortable talking to women. And it to might you. be tourist women. It might be it tourist might not be women. Indian women. Yeah, this is just our experience yeah. of what we felt. And even on our videos, if you go back and look at our comment section, we'll have a video of me and Elmo doing something and everything is addressed to me. Yeah. It's like Lawrence, 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 Lawrence. Yeah. This is Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. Even if they're talking about Elise, yeah. they'll be talking to me. I feel like that's just that's just the culture, that's just the way yeah. they operate. Yeah. So don't find it offensive or don't feel like oh he's not talking to me or he's not being friendly or whatever they yeah. might just feel a yeah, bit uncomfortable if they're a bit old school or a bit you know depending on where you are in the in yeah. india again in the comment section let us know yeah. is it different parts of india is it different generations and it might be a respect thing oh it's completely a respect that thing. they're talking to you and not to, to completely me. i don't dispute that it's yeah. because they don't think you're worthy of conversation or they don't want to yeah. engage with you it's just a respect thing and again if you're a woman, they might be completely okay with it, but they might, if there's a man there, not be as forward and open and whatever with the woman. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So let us know in the comment section. And if you have been to India and you are from outside of India, do let us know as well your experience. Yeah. And do you know who it would be really good for? I don't know if, if that's what you just meant there, but it'd be really interesting to hear from Indians who live in the UK what their experience when they go back yeah because they've ex they've experienced Both. living so their family there yeah, they've yeah, experienced yeah. there and then they've experienced the western culture yeah so a few things to obviously point out if you are going as a as a female on your own or a couple or with friends there are a few things you just don't want to get you want to avoid like if, like most places in the world and i would that this advice would be general advice mm. for everywhere because this is, as I said, I need to stress this, this is the safest I've ever felt while I've been outside of the UK. This mm. is the safest place. Mm. 
So if you get in a taxi, if you are, even if you're a couple, rickshaws, as, uh, we didn't have any problems at all, rickshaws, taxis, but again. And you're very street smart, I would say. <laughs> I am not, Lawrence is. So I grew up in London, and believe me, there's a lot more crime in London than I think there is in Delhi. There are just common practices, just don't get in unregistered taxis or random people off the street who offer a ride or rickshaws even after dark. You want to be using the Uber services everywhere in India. There are so many services that you can use that are registered, that are tracked. Use them, don't get in the rickshaws after dark. During the day, it should be absolutely fine. As I say, it's a very, very safe feeling place. But as a woman, as a precaution, I would just get Ubers. I wouldn't even risk getting rickshaws and things like that. And this is obviously, get a rickshaw if you want to get a rickshaw as a, as a woman. I'm not saying there is a higher level of risk than anywhere else in the world, but I'm just saying generally, if my daughter was going to India or any other country traveling outside of the UK, and in the UK, I would say- Yes, in the UK as well. You get a registered that's tracked now. There's just no reason why you wouldn't. Yeah. So the trains, still on the transport thing, the trains can be a little bit wild with lots of people on them. Yeah. If you're a family, I think it's absolutely fine. The only thing you've got to be careful of is there's, there aren't doors on some of the trains. If you've got little ones, keep them, keep it, yeah. keep them in. Um, but if you're a woman or by yourself, there isn't anywhere to like get off in between stops. And most of the people on the train were men. Yeah. in a lot of the places so if you did feel yeah. uncomfortable there's not really any way you can go so yeah. it might be keeping I would that say, unless you're in a in a couple or with a group of you mm. or i would say you only use the like there are ladies coaches ladies only oh, were there? yeah so use those yeah or i would say find another means whether it's a private car hire or whatever yeah. moving on to hotels hotels as a couple as a family I was absolutely fine with spending as little as possible to get, you know, the basic amenities and facilities. But however, if I was a woman or Elise was going on her own or my daughter was going on her own, 100% I would advise four or five star hotel. And again, that goes to the majority of the places out there. Because if you're paying five, 10 pounds a room in, in a hotel in, in, in anywhere in the world, you're not gonna get the security that you can't afford to pay for security. The overall security of the building is going to be a lot less. The staff is going to be, you can bet your bottom dollar, it's going to be understaffed. So if there, you do have any emergencies, you're not going to be helped in any way close to if you are actually in a resort or in a four or five star hotel. I think that's really important because that's kind of your, where it is so overwhelming when you're outside in, in the world of India, it, it's good to have a safe place that you can come back, de-stress, and bring everything back down. If you're still anxious when you're at home, you won't last four days in India because you're anxious outside. If you're anxious, lack, not sleeping and all the rest of it, it's gonna ruin your trip. Make sure you have a safe base. Four or five star hotel if you're a woman. If you're a couple, obviously it's your decision. I found it absolutely fine staying anywhere. So just in case you did need anything, it's really important to get a SIM card. You can get a SIM card for next to nothing, like really, really cheap. You can get them at the airport, so get one before you leave the airport, then you've got it for everything you need mm -hmm. while you're there. And you do need to record the emergency number. Yes, because they're different in all countries. Exactly. Another good point is to get a reputable guide. Mm -hmm. So we have just arrived at our homestay. This is our guide that we just picked up who's going to take us tomorrow, sort out our tickets. Um, and let's go and have a look. We're staying in a homestay today, which we've not done. Now get it from a hotel that's used to having Western yeah. tourists or whatever, you might pay a little bit more, but mm -hmm. there's gonna be someone who's used to talking to Western women, if you're a woman by yourself. Mm -hmm. Someone who's not gonna find it uncomfortable doing so. And the, the, what's important that's is- okay for you. That they speak your language yeah. because of emergencies. So yeah. it's not just so you can have a conversation with them in the car, it's that if you do have problems, you can actually yeah. Explain your problem and they'll be able to help you. Today's sky is not clear. <laughs> yeah. not clear. If no sun, then no fun, but you can understand how the no instrument sun, works. No so we start from a small sun dial. The heaven, the king was trying to make a heaven for a lady. The queen died when she was only 38 years old. Hello.
Thank you, Elife. Bye. <laughs> Again, Indian people are the friendliest people I think I've met as a group. They will not be able to do enough for you. Can't put a price on 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 safety. This is not do this or something will happen to yeah, you. Yeah, it's yeah. just good practice wherever you go. If you do have anything, you can go and ask for help and I promise you, mm. Indian people are the nicest you won't get and better they help. always help. Now I needed to go to the hospital in Mumbai the hotel owner let one of the staff leave early. Followed us all the way to the hospital on his motorbike. Yeah, did all the paperwork for us, stayed with us. Got a scene within five minutes. Yeah. Like he was the best. Even though he had a two hour journey home, journey home, he still stayed late to do that for us. Like, it was just incredible. Yeah. Our experience in India and the people of India is yeah. just... And they don't do it for money either. They don't no, they won't do accept, they won't accept any money. It's almost strange doing the video on is so, is yeah. India safe because the West portray India in such a negative way. And I don't even think it's conscious. No. It's not conscious. And when you get there, you I was forever yeah. going, what are they talking about? Yeah. So we're going to do another video on the West and what we receive. So we're going to let you know what we receive before we come to India. Then maybe you're you'll slightly yeah. understand where we're coming from. We're not ignorant, we're not yeah. uneducated, we're not, but this is the propaganda, yeah. if you like, that we get fed and we can only believe what we hear and see and whatever. Yeah. Without being there. Yeah. And I can tell you from being there, our experience was completely different. Couldn't have been further yeah. from what we'd been told. Yeah. Again, there are dangerous places and we even got told yes. by women in India when we were traveling, don't go to this place, don't go to this place. There are places, just outside Delhi, yes. where it's not advised to go yeah. as a tourist, let alone as a woman. So we're not talking all over India. I'm just talking yeah. about the places that we went. Yeah. And we went to a few places, Amrit to Mumbai, Delhi, yeah. Agra, Jaipur, where else? Kochi, yeah. Barkala. We went, we traveled a fair bit. And on that note, we have heard quite a few people, I feel like in India as well, people said this to us, that if you go for Holi, which a lot of tourists do, it isn't safe for women. for women. Yeah, tourist women, unless you're going to a private party in a in a hotel like that, it is not safe. A lot of the hotel owners actually won't let you out of the hotel because yeah. it's that unsafe. Yeah, um, and I think that is a fair assumption. Like Indian people have said that. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, and they, they say, look, it's just a festival, yeah. and the men get really drunk. Yeah and it just gets really wild and you put yourself, yeah. again, like we were saying, in bad situations. Yeah. And there are, you can celebrate it. Yeah. You can go to private parties and there are lots of private parties back. What they're talking about is the street parties. Like it that. was the same, again, we have to keep coming back to it. It is the safest place we've been. We've felt, but it is really important to note that there have been people who haven't been safe there. But like everywhere in the whole world, it would be like, it's completely irresponsible of us to be like, you know, it's fine, do whatever. What I mean is from our mean. experience, and we know yeah. other people, and we've seen YouTube videos of other people where their experience definitely wasn't like that. And yeah. again, I'm not a woman. I just can't even explain an experience that a woman would have because I'm just not that. There are issues in India with rape and things like that and sexual assaults, yeah. and it's been in the news, it's been in the news in India. You're all aware of it. Yeah. It's not something Indians would be like, no, that no. doesn't happen. Like, everybody knows yeah. it happens. And I want you, you to, to speak careful. as well. If there's any women here watching yeah. the videos, if you could let us know your experience just to help other people that yeah. maybe watch our videos for advice. Yeah, if there's any advice that you would yeah. give. Yeah, if there are any areas that are maybe a bit more conservative and maybe not accepting to tourists and things like yeah. that, please do let us know as well. India, you're amazing. Namaste. We love you. Thank you very much for looking after us. Never felt safer in a country, including the UK. India was incredible. I can't... Sorry guys, if you can hear that. I can't <laughs> recommend <laughs> India enough to the people that I... Every, anyone I meet, I'm like, India was the best experience of my life. You need to go there.